Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Google Drive and Google Photos space. Yeah, Google uh, is now counting everything which you upload, uh, especially into Google Photos. Everything counts towards the free 15 gigabytes. If you are paying for more, then it will count towards this thing here. And I just wanted to show you my three favorite pages where you can check how much storage you are consuming and how you could improve that, how you can save some space, how you can free some space, those things. So three different pages. I'm starting with the first one here. That's photos.google.com slash quote management. Yeah, you don't have to write these things down. I'll put down all the three links into the description so you can just click on them and you will see everything for your account. So of course, here we have the 36.3 out of 102, which I have. I mean, I had these 15 gigabytes. I bought some more and I think I still have two on top, something like that. But uh, anyway, but it doesn't matter if it's 15 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes. I think the functions are the same. I mean, when Google uh, announced the whole thing, they were saying something like if you're paying for the uh, storage like for the 100 gigabytes or one terabytes you will get additional features but i think uh, you will have all the features also available for the free 15 gigabytes uh, account version so we start here what's a little bit weird here i mean we have or i have 65 gigabytes of storage remaining and they are still telling me soon you won't be able to back up photos safe to drive or send and receive emails with gmail that's crazy yeah uh, maybe they will have to adjust that but you get some impression what you have i mean i don't only have google photos for 400 uh, megabytes this is the only part which is counting probably the things which I have uploaded since June 1st which is just uh, like about one week ago then here is everything what I have from Drive Gmail and other things so that's the total what's interesting they make some suggestions where you can uh, save some space like blurry photos here we have some things which you can mark and then uh, put uh, up for deletion and let's go back here i don't have a lot of things here you can also review items on gmail and uh, drive and other things here to learn uh, more about the whole thing then we can go to one.google.com i mean the one that's the thing which you get actually uh, when you're paying uh, i'm pretty sure about that uh, i think or at least it was not available probably now it's available for everybody because it's not free anymore so uh, click on this thing here as well one.google.com storage management you will get nice overview of what you can discard i mean you have deleted emails spam emails or deleted files from the drive which you could free but of course you cannot recover them after that then you also have some large items some large attachments uh, you can click on these things, but the problem is that it won't free the attachments. When you click on the items, when you go here and click, uh, it will show you like large um, emails or emails with large attachments. And when you click on them, Google will tell you that it will delete the email and the attachments and not only the attachments. That's really bad. That's not available to delete only attachments. Then we have some large files which we can free on the drive and large photos and videos which i don't have when we go down we have even like some unsupported videos i think this is something which we definitely can delete so i can show you this sample we click on this thing here delete 17 files permanently delete yeah okay so you can see i've saved 200 uh, megabytes and we can click here and go back this is how it works similar thing here with the drive drive drive.google.com dri uh, slash drive slash quote and you have the uh, largest files which you have but the only thing which you can use to uh, put this in a nice order is the size so you have the 
uh, largest one on top and then it goes down to smaller ones and I mean it gives you some help but it would be nice to have more options so in total uh, for me it's a little bit disappointing at least at the moment I was hoping for more features maybe there is something around I haven't found this I mean I have done some research on that and I've been clicking around and this is what I have found so yeah for me not really uh, convincing and it's not everything in one place so it's a little bit something here something there so regarding the announcement which they made it's a little bit disappointing and I hope they will come up with some better options which give uh, us more uh, comfortable options to delete things we don't need anymore and um, yeah but this is it what I have found and I still hope it will help you if you have found something uh, better than that just let us know down in the feedback area I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time